Hello, I'm Tom Watzka, Marketing Manager at Lattice Semiconductor. Today, I'm going to introduce a new IP that is available for the Crosslink family of programmable ASSP video bridging devices, combining the best of both worlds for an FPGA and an ASSP. Before I get into the details of the IP, I'd like to provide a quick overview of the Crosslink device. The Crosslink PASSP is constructed of three basic sections. On the right is a set of two hardened MIPI D5 blocks, each capable of transmitting or receiving up to four lanes at up to 1.5 gigabits per second each. The I.O. sections on the left support a variety of I.O.s, including SLVS, D5, and CMOS I.O.s, to name a few. And in the center is an FPGA fabric with a total of 5,900 logic cells capable of supporting a large variety of protocols, such as MIPI DSI and CSI2. The new IP I will be highlighting today is the MIPI CSI2 to MIPI CSI2 splitter that resides in the Crosslink fabric. This IP will accept the CSI2 camera video stream and retransmit that same CSI2 video stream at two separate CSI2 channels. The diagram you see here shows this functionality. The IP will accept the CSI2 camera input and once internal to the FPGA fabric, the video stream will be split into two identical streams for transmission via the D5 channels. So where can you use this CSI2 to CSI2 splitter? This IP can be used to send the video stream to two separate processors, one being a mobile applications processor and the other being a specialty image processor. Additionally, timing adjustments can be made to both output CSI2 streams to accommodate the timing requirements of the two video processors. This IP also acts as a repeater function where it can accept a low swing D5 signal that may have been degraded through prior connectors, cables, or long PCB traces. The use cases described are particularly useful in automotive infotainment applications. For more information about Crosslink, visit our website. Thanks for watching.